Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Ravencoin Core Wallet on a Windows 10 PC. We'll also take a quick overview and look at all the features. So let's get started. So we're going to start the installation on our desktop of a Windows 10 PC, and we're going to open up our Google Chrome browser. And at the homepage of Google, in the search field, we're going to type in Ravencoin. Ravencoin.org is the official URL, and it's the first one here in the list. So we'll click on that and let it open up. And right here at the home screen, you have a link right in the center that says get your wallet. So you can click on this. Oh, there's an announcement here. 4.31 is the newest version. So that's one that we're going to be installing. So we click on the link. You can see that the iPhone and Android devices are supported. And if you scroll down a bit, we also have desktop versions, uh, which is going to be Windows, Apple, and Linux. We're going to be doing the Windows installation. So we'll click on the link and it's going to download automatically the 64-bit version. So it's not a very big file. Once it's done, we can just click on the setup file and let it open up. And I'll just minimize this. And we can say yes to the user control prompt here. Click on yes. And it can, we'll begin the installation. We can just click on next. We're going to be using the default folder. You can change that, but if you don't have a reason, just leave it as default. And then we can click on install. And it's going to install all the components. Um, because we're installing the newest version, it won't need to download anything else. We can, we're getting the most up-to-date version right now. And when it's complete, we can just click on finish. We're just going to make sure that Run Raven is selected and we'll click on finish. And over here, um, it's going to give us the welcome screen for the directory that we wanted installed in. Now, I'm going to be using the default directory. If you have an area on your PC that you want to keep it, all your wallets together, you can change that right there. And then now it's going to load it up. So again, if you already have a recovery phrase that you want to use, uh, you can type it in here. Uh, if not, you can have one generated and then you can uh, retype in the phrase below. So I don't have one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the generate button and it'll cycle through some words. If you don't like it, you can just keep hitting the generate button and it'll keep generating a combination of phrases. Though you don't have to remember this, you should definitely write it down, keep it on a piece of paper somewhere safe and then you can just retype it below in the recovery phrase field. So once you have it entered in, you can click on import and it's going to start loading the wallet. We're going to get a Windows Defender link here for um, allowing access into the firewall. Uh, we want to allow access to this. And now it's going to try to sync all the headers and everything from the blockchain. Now, when you install the core wallet, you're installing and creating a node on the network. Uh, the entire blockchain needs to be downloaded and installed on your computer. You can see that we have three years and 21 weeks of uh, data behind. Now it looks like it's syncing kind of fast, um, but this might take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump ahead uh, to when this has been completely synced. So that whole syncing process took me about three or four hours for it to complete. It really depends on your connection. So mine is pretty good. I have about a 500 meg connection and and I have a decent amount of space on my computer. So let me just expand this so you can take a look at it. Up here at the top, we have the current market price. This is as of June 3rd, 2021. And you have an overview section that looks at your balances and assets and recent transactions. So one of the main features that you can do is send Ravencoin from the wallet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a fake transaction right now. You can click on the contact here and you can add a contact with their name and their crypto address, their Raven crypto address. You can also just paste one and I'm going to paste one that I already have. It's the address for the wallet that we're looking at right now. And you have the pay to field right here, and then you can give it a label and inside the label, you can just literally put anything that you want. Um, I'll just put in crypto jar payment. And then below you have the amount. We'll just do a thousand Ravens. There we go. And then you can subtract the fee automatically. And now at the bottom, you have the transaction fee, which is a calculated amount. When you actually send it, it'll give you a more accurate number. So just keep that in mind. And the next thing we can do is just take a look at how to send. So when you click on the send option over here on the left hand side, uh, very similar. You put in the label, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just type in, I'll type in pay me. There we go. And then the amount, let's put in 1000 it's actually 10,000. Okay, sure, whatever. And a message. So you can type in whatever message you want, and then you can reuse this, or you don't have to reuse it. Not recommended is 
what they say here. And on the request, you have the big QR code up here at the top. You can save that image and you can paste it. You also have the URI link and you also have the option to copy the address as well. Uh, so you have those three buttons there at the bottom. And this is the address and the amount and then the, and pay me. And this will all show up in the message if you just uh, click on the URI. And then transactions, you can search your transactions by the address, by the amount or asset name. And then on the left hand side, we have a few other options here. We won't get too much into detail for create assets and then transfer assets, manage assets and restricted assets. That might be its own video on its own because we can go into a lot of detail with those uh, three components. Anytime you install a core wallet on your computer, the, one, the number one thing you definitely want to do is back it up. And by doing that, you click on the wallet menu at the top and then click on backup wallet. And then you just give it a name and then you can save it in any location that you want. Um, it's definitely recommended to keep this not on the same PC. You can save it on like a USB drive or backup hard drive anywhere other than the PC that you're on and doing regular updates. Like right now I'm labeling it June, 2021, maybe do it monthly. Uh, it's very important because if you, anything gets corrupted, even during an update, you want to be able to retrieve all the coins that you have and all your assets. You don't want them lost. So definitely back up your wallet regularly. If you're installing the core wallet on your PC. And this is an overview of how to install the Ravencoin Core Wallet on a Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.